Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the probably my final match of this Blitz Pit. I'm up against PTK, Big Kev himself, Kev, past tense K-Fog, or primetime Kevin, whatever you want to call him. He's in between me and Skuro there now on the screen in the bottom corner. Um, we've got identical teams, so there you go, there's his team. And uh, there's my team, there's sadly Nolene Gary. I had to put Theresa May and Mia Khalifa in, didn't I? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we've got identical teams, but PTK has played about a thousand more NAF games than me. Um, <laughs> with Dark, all with Dark Elves. No, not all, but he's played loads with Dark Elves, won loads of tournaments with Dark Elves. So, it should be second nature to me. I'm going to concentrate. Skuro will take over the commentary. Thank you very much, Skuro. So, choose. Absolutely, and here we are, the third game of Blitzbit for Jimmy Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Uh, Jimmy coming off a loss in his last game to Wolf Barks Undead. Uh, pretty rough game for him. Uh, double uh, uh, snakes, snakes ruined his drive, and then he just couldn't get it back. Had a few shots, uh, had a few shots in the second half, but nothing really materialized for him. And here we are. This is a winner go home kind of moment. Either way, it's the last one of the day if you're watching live, um, regardless of what happens. But if Jim wins, he does advance up the loser's bracket and have another chance to get back in there and win this whole thing because this is a double elimination tournament. So here we go. Uh, this is a complete mirror. Both teams identical in every way except for the character names, uh, K Frog in white, Jimmy in maroon, burgundy, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get underway. It looks like, uh, looks like uh, uh, Jim probably won the toss and elected to kick, as my assumption. Nice weather, and yeah, I'm gonna load this up in the client, and so I'm not gonna be on the delay now. Yeah, so Jimmy won his very first game of the tournament, lost his second. K Fog went, uh, K Fog went the other way around. PTK, we'll call him because it's easier. Uh, he lost his first game and then uh, knocked Rick Reckless, fan favorite Rick Reckless, with his ridiculous team out of the tournament. And here we go, K Fog on offense. And yeah, don't feel too bad, Lean Guerra. I'm also not on the JFW All Stars team, uh, so clearly this is some Jim McMahon bullshit booking, uh, and uh, he deserves all the bad luck that he's going to have. Jimmy does have the fame off that, but uh, obviously the opening kickoff. Um, awarded Jimmy a re-roll and not K-Fog. And K-Fog, so turn one, had to burn a, had to burn a re-roll on a block, um, on a double skulls on a block, and fails his pickup, so rocky start for the elves, but the elves are now coming back at them. Let's see what happens. And Jim with a cheeky armor break, just a stun, and he's getting some pressure in that backfield right off the bat. Sends in a uh, Blodge Blitzer and the Wrestle Witch. Wow, basing up two over on that side. Looks like he's going to go pretty heavy. And now he's going to try and cut off uh, cut off uh, K-Fog from advancing and just kind of getting away from all that pressure. Yeah. 
I'm a little curious basing both of his witches right off the bat like that. Uh, we'll see where see where it gets him. And uh, and just like that, the uh, the ball pressure is pretty much uh, pretty much relieved unless some more bad dice come into play here. Ooh, and there's the armor break, and sure enough, Mia Khalifa, who had a rough game last time, dying, getting, uh, oh, and now she's out, and that's, uh, that's some severe punishment for basing his witch up, but she is, she is gone for the rest of the match, and now Jim is gonna have to try and find a way to win this without any wrestle, or without any wrestle or tackle. It's gonna be <laughs> pretty rough. Yeah, died died and got Apo back in to then get cast in the last game. Also had a snake on a uh, on a one D blitz. She just had to dodge away to hit the ball to try and save last game. Couldn't do it. But yeah, I think Jim was trying to leverage the fact that he had Blodge on both, well, sort of Blodge on both of them, Ra Raj on, the, on one of them, uh, make K-Fog have to pow him, and uh, K-Fog, uh, he did. What can you do about that? <laughs> now, a GFI fail can't re-roll it. Still has a, still has a pretty good uh, screen in front of Kfug, but yeah, Jim might. Uh, this is tough coming off a rough game last game, having to fight through this. Even though they're quick turns, this is still kind of pull you down. And Jim has always been a little susceptible to that. Probably not feeling great about this one already. Oops, sorry, got a little distracted by a text there. <laughs> Didn't see what happened. Looks like uh, KFO uh, won to dodge without dodge, but it was probably an end of turn. Uh, no, that was his first die of the... Uh, First die of the turn, it looks like. So uh, didn't uh, didn't get much done that turn, but not really in a any worse of a spot. Oh, and Kefo, oh boy, the handoff wins it, wins it again, and now the ball's on the floor, and suddenly, <laughs> some uh, some suspect rolling by Kefo. Jim did call his shot, said he was gonna roll better than Kefo, and that's how he was gonna beat him. Could this be coming? True. Oh, what are you talking about, Mama Bosco? This is uh, epic, 
epic battle of uh, two identical teams that have to roll three dice a turn. Uh, Jimmy not able to clear the best path through, but still pretty worth uh, pretty worth making the dice rolls to try and pluck that ball out. The question is what he does with the rest of his screen up top before he commits any dice to that. Yeah, this could be a lot worse, Satterfield. <laughs> I agree. I think once this gets heated enough, if Jim can steal the ball here... Oh, does he re-roll? I don't think... Oh, he does re-roll it. Basically going for broke, but does not get it. Uh, but now, again, you know... <laughs> K-Folk no longer has the, the ability to roll bad dice and get away with it. So, uh, he... These, uh, these mistakes are going to stick. Also, down to one re-roll... I shouldn't say mistakes. There's nothing k Folk didn't do anything wrong on this. <laughs> Ball is clear, and now, as long as he doesn't want the pickup, he can uh, probably get it pretty safe. L'équipe est en possession du ballon. There it is. Ball should be caged up pretty well here. C'est une formation solide. Je demande à voir comment l'adversaire va subtiliser le ballon. All right, Kfoge with Kfo with a uh, kind of a double double cage. There. You got the eye cage and uh, an exterior protection on it. Jimmy can kind of uh, use this turn to reset himself a little bit and uh, yeah, look to just just slow Kfo down. Elves, you know, elves are gonna elf, but dark elves are a little bit pr uh, prone to getting bogged down in midfield. So. <laughs> Jim not really sure what to do with his runner there. Kind of ping pongs him back and forth. Just keeps his original screen. Probably probably the best move. So he can... Kefo can squeeze up the right side, but that's probably not where he wants to be, even though he's got the witch advantage right now. So it looks like he's just going to try and pop through on the left here. But he's going to have to rely on some two pluses. And here we go. Fails his very first one. Dodge Prox, but he's all good. Uh, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. And, oh, hits the GFI, too. One reroll left. He might. He's probably going to get through all this, but if it costs him a reroll, he could be in trouble to score. Moving the ball now through. Just needs to make... A 136, and he does. And looks like his cage just about complete here. So we'll put a whoosh through first. There he is. And there it is. Full, uh, full X cage.
Et c'est quoi, Jim Je sais chanter. Oh non, par pitié. Vraiment Oh Oh Pas la peine d'être fait prison. Coach personnel I'm doing a pretty good job of stranding those two players that the initial pressure uh, off from the rest of the play. So no guard to be had on these teams, so if, you, if Kefa wants to continue up the left side, he's going to have to 1D that witch. Well, no he's not, but he'd have to commit three players to 2D here, which might not be the best idea right now unless he was scoring. Uh, I don't think he has any intention of scoring just yet, so now Jim, yep, trying to rein him in as best he can here. Jim would love a cheeky removal. Doesn't get one there. Blitz to come. <laughs> Gets the skull. Throws the reroll at it. I mean, he's still got two turns to go, uh, one of which will probably be a one turn attempt, so can't use that last reroll. Probably better to get any players through, though, than, than have that reroll for this next turn. So Kefo only advancing one square here with the ball. That's a double GFI for that player to score. Uh, so his uh, he's going to have some work to do to score here. He might be uh, Jim might, might have cast a wide enough net to keep him in, but he does have those score threats over on the right. Jim can't ignore them. So we're probably going to see a couple columns here to prevent the forward motion. But then how does he protect over on the right is the question. I assume he blitzes down the closest one. Ah, just gets a push. Doesn't remove him from scoring range, but it's pretty good. He really needs to get another guy in there, though, I think. Yeah, and Jim, yeah, Jim has to, yeah, that's a big hole there. It's easily just a blitz away right on, on, uh, on that blitzer. I'd even consider making some GFIs here, or at least the next dodge. And Jim cannot afford to use his reroll, so he can't risk those GFIs. Screens off a little bit from that right side, but... Uh... Yeah, this isn't going to be easy any way you slice it, but we're not in uh, we're not in anything more than a couple of threes and maybe a four territory. And here we go. Looks like we're going to a pass, so it looks like uh, he's probably going to blitz this lower line out of the way and then maybe three plus through for a, pa for a pass after a handoff. <laughs> I 
No, he's going to probably I, – I'd take those dodges through in the tackle zone rather than throwing over the L's. Food in. Oh, of course, he can just block him too. But that block doesn't help things, so now he definitely has to dodge through. It's just a two plus through, though. So we're looking at just like a handful of twos here. Oh, and there's a one. No, uh, he does have the reroll still. All right, he needs to make three more twos. Makes the first, makes the second, makes the third, and scores. Uh, Jim can't feel too bad about that. He did pretty much everything he could to stop that. Um, had a shot on the ball on the pickup, couldn't 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 grab it. But uh, both coaches played pretty well. Kfo had a bunch of really poor dice early on to put him in a hole. Um, but that's almost exactly what you would have expected uh, this turn against these two identical teams to come down to. Just uh, a couple two pluses and uh, see where we're at. So now Jim has to uh, try the one-turn defense. Or sorry, one turn off <laughs> the one turn touchdown oh, as KFO uh, sets up on defense. Jim has a reroll for this, but still pretty rough. And uh, Jim gets a second reroll for this that he can't use. A little annoying. But here we go. Can Jim one turn touchdown to tie this up? Pretty much the best uh, one turn defense you're going to get as elves. Let's see what he's got. He's only got the one frenzy for this attempt. <laughs> nope. There's the reroll. Gets his push. It's three more squares. And here comes the ball because this is uh, the lowest amount of tackle zones he's going to be in. Ah, oh, I can't catch it. Oh, but the, the Witch Elf does. Don't think he's going to be able to get four squares for her, though. Oh, she can still probably hit him. Can he still do this? No, he can't do it. And that'll be that. Unfortunately, could not rein in that pass. And now Jim just needs to do the exact same thing KFO did and then take it to OT. Now Jim down a player, and it's one of his best players. Luckily, it's his, uh, it's his offense, not his defense. So the time he was going to most miss that wrestler uh, has just passed unless, uh, you know, OT happens. But once we get to OT, whoever wins that coin flip is almost assuredly going to win this game. <laughs> So interesting to see how Jim sets up on offense here. The one thing that truly ruins the game for him is a blitz. A blitz would be catastrophic, and he can't ignore that.
but being down a player, he only has so much to do, and uh, he's going to be a little susceptible to it, but doesn't happen. Steals another reroll. That could be huge for him. Three rerolls is a big advantage in OT format. Would love a cheeky removal, though. One sec, everyone. C'est une formation solide. Je demande à voir comment l'adversaire va subtiliser le ballon. Le joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. All right, folks. Sorry, I am back now. Uh, looks like I. Missed very little because it's a Dark Elf Mirror and they're just going to faff around for eight turns. But uh, yeah, Jim has uh, Venga Bus going. Solid control of the ball. And uh, is getting himself... Getting himself knocked over by a witch. And uh, Kefo got uh, tying up that blitzer pretty well. Jim might have to three plus his way out, uh, adding a little bit of variance in. And that's the thing in a game like this: the more variance the coach can force onto his opponent, the better chan his chances are. And Witch in with a big pow. Gets nothing for her trouble. And I did not miss any casualties while I was gone. So, looks like Jim's going to fight his way out here. Doesn't get the pow on her, though. And the ball's just going to advance up one square and 
cage comes in. It is a based cage, but uh, there's a lot of bodies there. It's gonna gonna cut down on too much uh, shenanigans on cave folks side, I think. And uh, Jim, no, sorry, k -Fog, Doves. And that, that it's going to give Jim a bit of an opening. Who was that? I wasn't actually looking. Uh, I apologize. I think that was his witch elf. Yeah, it sure was. And here comes Jim. He can break away on the left pretty well now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can't get the blodger down. Sure would have liked to. Probably going to see a dodge here, but the ball is unprotected right now. And now Jim's just going to have to rely on some two pluses. We've seen this before. We've seen this end matches before. Oh, and sure enough, there's the snake. Ball is very exposed. Jim probably threw up a GG. And sure enough, <laughs> as was foretold, the relying on the two plus, we've seen it end matches before. So if Jim can survive this turn and keep that ball, he might have a shot to get it safe again, but it's going to close off real fast on him right now. And here comes the wrestler. I think the way it's lined up, though, it's going to be a... Is he going to put someone else through to make sure it's not a frenzy trap? Oh, he's not going in with wrestle. Oh, will he regret that? He will. Oh, actually, no, it wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered at all. Never mind. <laughs> but that ball is very well contained right now. Jim, uh, if he can get the ball away at all, is going to also have to uh, protect it the next turn. This is going to be a real big setback for turn 13. Nope, he's just going to uh, snake it. Nope. Yep, does roll a snake there on the bo Oh, boy. I did not stick to my plan of rolling better than K-Fog. No, Foolish. you sure did not. I mean, it, he made it easy for you in the first couple turns, but, uh, yeah, that one was... Uh, what you, so you made the hard dodge, right? You hit 3+. Failed the two plus. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking annoying when he moved his whole, he like dodged through his whole cage, didn't he? Like he made five dodges through, and I had basically yeah. the same chance and failed on the yep. fucking double one. It is, it is uh, pretty telling of a matchup like this where like it played out almost identically for both of you guys. You ended up having to make roughly the same play to get the ball forward, <laughs> yeah. and one of two things happened. I don't know if you could hear me, though, Jim. I did have a perfect moment where I said, Jim's just going to have to make a bunch of two pluses to get this ball safe. We've seen that at matches before. <laughs> and then you instantly snaked your dodge. Thanks. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was perfect. Well, I think that's the game, though, isn't it? Like, if I hadn't rolled the first snake, so I'd just rolled it a different time, it would have been all right, but... That was always going to be the trap of this game, though. No matter 
no matter what either of you guys did, like it was just gonna come down to who snaked at the wrong time. Yeah, well, I mean, it is double skull, meant, like gave us the chance. Like I could have rolled, I could have just yep. powered his bludger, which, yep. like, you know, if I was Wolfbark, that's what I would have done. <laughs> did you did you consider trying to blitz out like ball blitz out? Because I think you could have got a pretty easy two dice and still been able to protect him. Yeah, maybe, but I just wanted to fuck off, and I, I honestly I haven't been into this match. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I haven't really been in this match. I, you know, I'm, I, it sounds like an excuse, but I've, I haven't felt very well. I've had a couple of painkillers halfway through the fucking first match, and I've just, you know, it's it's tough when you're playing three games of Blood Bowl in a row, and I, I haven't been at the races this game. But even then, yeah. it still came down to if, uh, you know, we did pretty much roll the same dice, didn't we? Yeah. Well, it is a bit of a shame. I mean, that first game was was a real fun watch. The second one was uh, was was not a bad game, but it was a lot tougher to to kind of get through. And then this one, just what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was about five minutes. Well, ten minutes. I had about half an hour between the match. <laughs> but still, it's still yeah. grueling to play three games. You know, almost one after the other. It what? Yeah. We like we talked about before the game. It will be. It will be the game of the shit dies. You just go through time to shit dies fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we it's had not about like the same rolled great. <laughs> yeah, it was the double skull that, that opened it up for me, wasn't it? And stuff. So, like, yeah, you rolled some double skulls and. And some snakes as well. And I couldn't pick up the ball. I couldn't hand off the ball. Yeah, the first two mm -hmm. turns were just a tragedy for elves by elf standards. <laughs> Even. <laughs> Even my toss time when he did a couple of two plus, it started out with the one on the handoff. <laughs> yeah. As soon as uh, as soon as the wrestle witch went down, though, I was like, oh, I think this one's already over." Yeah. On the other hand, because the rest of the, my switch to the block job was because of the rest of which was out. Yeah. Suddenly, it seemed much better having it on a blitz if it was needed to bl like blitz out at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I rolled a one, and then a bad scatter, and rolled a one, and the bad scatter, and even worse scatter. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you had made that three plus pick up, that would have been crazy bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was so close to just to just going one up there straight at the start, wasn't it? But yeah. well played, K Fog. PTK, the fan favourite, PTK going through, so that's great, isn't it? And um, thank you very much, Skurumetso, for the uh, yeah, thanks, commentary. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely, I hope you guys uh, somewhat enjoy <laughs> enjoyed your afternoon of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Thanks, and thank you, Gadenik, for the great tournament. Uh, I'll do probably some commentary on like the final, maybe the semis or something tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how much commentary I'll do tomorrow, but I'll at least do the final. At least you don't have to play then. Exactly. Yeah, that's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks for congratulations, watching. Jim. You want you almost won Blitz bit by only having to play three games instead of two. Exactly, yes. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.